So their bot lane has a lot of damage in lane, a lot of poke damage. We are an all in lane, which makes for a very interesting dynamic. But first of all, let's try and cheese them. Or get cheesed, I don't know. Looks like we're just dead. Yeah, no point in wasting a summoner. Very unlucky level 1, but I guess we're playing the game on hard mode now. This flowchart tells you which misfortune build is the best for each matchup. Don't really think there's a point in doing this. But maybe Nautilus gets a good hook and then maybe it's worth? Question mark? They're definitely leashing right now. Okay. He took a billion damage for this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's worth. I guess no. <laughs> anyway, hello for the misfortune. It's over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch right now. And Twitch chat wanted candy cane misfortune in this game. So we did them the favor. And if you want to join in the future, link in the description, of course. We're level 2 here. Okay. Nice one. Putting that power spike to good use. Jin with four pots, but Lux out of potions and low health. Which definitely matters. Yeah, we're playing the best build here, the Emax collector variation, because I like it. It's just my favorite version of the build. And potentially also the Cleaver late game. Yeah. Guess I want that. Late game should win anyway. They're so early game focused with their team composition. Lux pretty much needs to base at this point. <laughs> or she just dies. <laughs> okay, that's an alternative. I'd say we push, but okay. Burn through his potions. Also through our own, kind of. Yeah, we just push it in and base, spend our money. Not even basing in the bush, because who needs that? <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. You would aim here. So we get this, and now we're so strong. Serrated Dark, best component item in the game. Really boosts your early game. So what happens here is Lux obviously returns with full health, full mana. And we base, so we both do the same. We also return with full health, full mana, and now Jin needs to base. And their base timings are a little bit asynchronous. It's not a big deal, but it can be a slight advantage in some cases. We should get this, right? I panicked. I thought maybe Notos wouldn't be there in time. I just secured the cannon. Better safe than sorry. Another point in E. Lux mid lane, Jin missing entirely. He's definitely in base. This is where you fast push. Try to get this under tower. Alright, Lux still not here. Guess bot lane is a 1v1 lane now. We see Lee Sin. I don't think we're in immediate danger, but um, still, we know we don't have backup, so we need to be careful. Yeah, there's Lux. The E slow gives her a first strike trigger. That's interesting. The plus five gold. <laughs> They're on dragon, we can't stop it. It's not possible. Yeah, 
Yeah, our jungler isn't even close. There's no points. We can thin this out so Nautilus can maybe look for our fights. So far, so good. We actually have item advantage on Jin. Yeah, just bait out the luck spells, dodge them, make her waste some mana, and then walk straight into a Jin W. Perfect. <laughs> oh no. My tank loses. Oh, almost no HP. Okay, that didn't matter. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, just safely farm. Pressure Jin on that minion here. Uh, we face tanked everything. Jin heal? Yeah, worth. If it worth, I mean. After I already kind of blew it by <laughs> getting hit by every single spell in the book. But uh, yeah, we, we can base here. We have a good buy. And boots, also nice because dodging skill shots, you know? We're working towards that juicy collector first item. Three kills Lee Sin, though. We just need to endure those early. Kills for them are a little unlucky, but uh, our game plan doesn't change. Just need to chill. We scale so hard. And they don't at all. Especially Jin into Zack Garen. <laughs> he won't be having fun, I can tell you. Jin extremely shaky into tanks. Alright. I have ulti. Jin has Swifties though, so Lux is the easier target. Definitely. But yeah, we just engage on whichever opponent gets locked down by Nautilus. Hopefully he turns level 6 soon as well. Yeah, we have a lot of combat stats. <clears throat> oh, that could be a nasty tower dive, actually. Nota is still level 5, though. Okay, she got me this time. Okay, it doesn't look like a dive. We just meet Lee Sin here. Hmm. Lee Sin flash. How? How that connect on me? <laughs> That's wild. It was a sketchy fight though. I couldn't one-shot Jin quite yet. <sighs> Let's get double longsword. Yeah, Nautil is still level 5. That's the big issue. We are fighting against all their ultimates without Nautilus ultimates. That, in fact, costs us quite a bit here. Wow. Walking to that binding actually cost me the cannon. That should be a plating. Don't think they can challenge. Okay. Play it safe. The sin is nearby, we know that. Gonna rush dragon.
Oh, that's surprising. I could have sworn. Moto is finally level 6. We can hard engage on them when they come. And they choose not to. Oh, I'm dead. Or am I? I can still ult, potentially. Huge. 800. Had I bought a crit cloak, he would have lived. Crit does barely anything for your ults. Okay. We are out of there. Nice. But yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Huge shutdown. Finally got some life steal too. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. That was pretty crazy. Now we're in a good shape. Because, you know, they need to crush us early. And they just completely blew it. In late game they have no chance. Look at this. Falls off hard. Falls off hard. Falls off kind of. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, okay. And we on the other hand scale incredibly hard. Ulti in 30 seconds. Poor Nautilus getting bullied. Seventeen seconds. <clears throat> Let him know. Two seconds. If Nautilus ends one grab, they're dead. Or at least lose their flashes. And top side. Okay. Wow. We got played by the stopwatch. They almost got played by me. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Focusing the target with the stopwatch available. I haven't seen it either. I, I didn't press tab, I have to admit. But uh, we could have played this way better. We had the information. It's not like stopwatch is a secret. It's not like a hidden trap card that we could run into. It's not like we're attacking into a mirror force. No, no, no. We just failed miserably in our decision making. No, oh, no, to this, you're 1v2. Okay, he didn't go for it, which is quite smart. <laughs> Better to not die. Oh well, here we go again.
Yeah, we're kind of throwing. Kind of throwing. Good Malzahar roam, though. Since we already have crit, no problem in buying a crit cloak here. Getting closer to that shield bow. Obviously, Sheepsbo doesn't save us when Melzaha flanks us from behind our or from from our backline. But um, if we play it correctly, if we don't run into these, then we're definitely fine. Yeah, I take mid lane here. Waves coming in. Good. Well played. Garen, five kills. Melza up top. So we're not getting Melza ulted again in the next couple seconds. Pushing this is a little sketchy. It's already past river. I guess we just get one more wave. That was already quite risky, actually. Yeah, we just chill. Don't try to make crazy plays here. Just keep the wave past river. It's all we realistically need to do. I wouldn't mind. What's wrong with them? Oh no, they're tilted. Oh no. They don't realize we win late game for free. For some reason they're flaming, huh? Anyway. That's their problem. I'm not participating in that. Okay, Garen splits. Looking good. Yep, as I thought. Ah, oh, these choke points. Wow. I tried to ult him, but that was just too greedy of me. I should not have taken that bait. Oh, we're kind of falling apart here. And Karma, no! Oh, we need your damage. If she goes zero damage, they can just stack armor. Okay, now the late game just got way harder. We need Karma to go Luden's death cap in this game. I mean, look at this. Physical, tank, physical, tank. Lee Sin can just stack armor and become unkillable. Mm, come on. Maybe we can salvage? Depends on Baron HP. It's too low. Get him. Yeah, they get Baron, of course. <sighs> Unlucky. It was my mistake, though. I can, I, we could easily win this game if I make less mistakes. This game's completely in my hands. Drake and 50. Should be good here.
Drake in 15. I have ult for that. With a good Zack engage and Nautilus CC, we can get so much damage off here. actually huge clean that's what I mean with all that CC we get very nice setups and opportunities I push bot lane here they either get him or they don't doesn't matter they do get him rest in peace kind of minion Gone but not forgotten. Okay, that's pressure. I need to respond to mid lane and to bot lane now. So it's good to have pressure from multiple angles. Yeah, I just run. They all spawned. But we get away for free from misfortune with boots and W. Not a problem. Okay, time to work towards Bloodthirster. We can get two very strong components. Well, long swords are long swords. He gets me. Ah, oh, nasty. I couldn't base. I lose my flash for it. This is a one for one, so it's not too bad. Once I have Bloodthirst, I can just take him. Easily. If Garen dies, that's another huge shutdown for them. Let's hope he lives. Oh, come on! He's dead. There's no way. There's no way. There is no way. I'm on my way. I can get another wave too. There's a howling dog somewhere here. Can you hear that? <laughs> Maybe you can. He's uh, he or she is quite loud. And I'm dead. Ah, oh, okay. I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy. Players like these can lose us the game. This death doesn't matter too much because they can't get anything. There's no dragon, no baron, nothing they can take. But still, it might demoralize my team. And now they're fighting 4v5. Or 3v4 because bot lane is a thing, right? Is this working? Obviously not. Why? I mean, I literally just died, and then they go in, voluntarily. Just let that sink in for a moment. If this works, then good on them, but it's such an unnecessarily risky play. Why does it work? I guess my team is very lucky. That also was unnecessarily risky. <laughs> I'm the first one to admit that. But I've cancelled their bases, which means Garen gets more.
Drake in 30. I should be able to take one more wave because they all just recalled. I know they're not here. And that's Bloodthirster money. I'm slightly late for Drake, but they still need to respond to top lane pressure, so it's a win-win situation after all. Yeah. Jay's dead. Numbers advantage. Looking good. As I've said, the longer this game goes, the better. Now they haven't sta started stacking armor yet for some reason. Maybe they didn't realize. <laughs> Might be possible. I don't want to overcommit. I also to save Garen. Yeah, this Jin ulti does nothing. Okay, they're kind of poking us down. That's a little bit scary. Back to full we go. Oh, you don't. You don't, fellas. Yeah, bad call. <laughs> bad call. I misplayed this, by the way. I shouldn't. I should have ignored Lux as she's on yard and just attacked the others. Would have been safer. Didn't matter ultimately, but it was still a misplay. Is that game out right? Can we just end? Twenty seconds for Lux. She's the earliest. Now we can't end, but we can take two or uh, three inhibs maybe. Wait, we can take everything. Oh, I don't have mana. Wanted to press R, but nothing happened. Yeah, we just win. GG. <laughs> Minions finishing before I can kill them. Unlucky. Getting the clean plus 17. Diamond 3, 69 LP. You already know. Most damage in the team. Yeah, we misplayed a little bit here and there. But again, this is why it's important. You always keep your win condition in mind. We just had to stall it out early. And everything's fine. And uh, <laughs> we come out ahead. In the end, take that W. And yeah, if you want to see another Misfortune game, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.